All of us at Arizona Opera and Ballet Arizona are excited to dance with you. As you begin to learn each dance, remember, you can rewind each section and phrase as many times as you need to to practice the steps. Don't be afraid to get up, move around, and have fun. Welcome everyone. My name is Eastland. And my name is Colleen. Let's do a warm up to the dance of the Signets from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake. We will start with 16 jumping jacks. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Stay in second position and we'll stretch to the right. Come up to the left. Come up. We will do a saute, which is a jump. So we are going to do plie and jump up. One more time. Plie, jump up. Now that we are all warmed up, let's begin. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Colleen and today we'll be learning a dance from the aria Habanera from the opera Carmen. This dance is more of a Spanish style, so how we show that in ballet is having our wrists together. So from the normal positions that you've already learned, turn your wrists in so that they're touching and together, and that's how we show a Spanish style in ballet. And that can be high, that can be in first position, um, for all the positions that we're going to do in this dance. So we're going to start down and we'll roll up through our back for four counts. Then we'll say, let's dance in ballet language, which is rolling your hands one over the other as you bring them up and open. Good. From there, we'll do a rond de jambe, a big circle of the leg from the front to the side to the back with our wrists together arms. We'll do the left and then the right again, and then three steps. Then we'll do the same thing to the other side. So starting with the left, rond de jambe, Rond de jambe the right, rond de jambe the left, and three steps. Good, that's the whole first part of the dance. So let's try that from the beginning with the music. One, two, three, four, let's dance. Six, seven, eight. Rond de jambe, rond de jambe, rond de jambe. Step, step, step. Rond de jambe. Rond de jambe, rond de jambe, three steps. Good, now that we know the first part of the dance, let's add in the second part. So we finished here. From there, we'll brush our leg to the front, bring it into passe, and put it back on the floor. Then we'll do three more steps. And same thing on the left. Brush the left leg, bring it into passe by your knee, Put it on the floor and three steps. Then we'll sway from side to side four times. Right and left and right and left. Then we'll say, let's dance one more time. Good. So the whole second part again. Brush, passe down. Three steps. Brush, passe down. Three steps. Sway two. Three, four, let's dance. Six, seven, eight. Let's try the second part with the music. Brush the right, passe down. Step, step, step. Brush the left, passe down. Step, step, step. Sway right and left and right and left. Let's dance. Now that we've learned the second part and the first part of the dance, let's put the two together and make the whole complete dance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rond de jambe, left, leg, right, leg, three steps. Left, leg, right, 
leg, left leg, three steps. Brush, passe down, three steps. Brush, passe down, three steps. And switch, left, right, left, left, dance. Great job, everyone. So for this dance, after the second time you say let's dance, you can start again from the rond de jambes and do the whole dance as many times as you want with the music. Also, for this dance, we have some smooth parts and some sharp parts. The smooth parts are our rolling up, our rond de jambes, and our swaying. And our sharp parts are going to be our three steps and our sharp brush to passe down. So let's try this dance one more time and think about showing the difference between the smooth parts and the sharp parts. Great job, everyone. I hope you have fun doing this dance as many times as you want with the music. See you on the next video.